Hey everyone, Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Um, today I am going to be making a Herkimer diamond pendant out of this fork or possibly this fork later on. But first I wanted to um, show you what I do when I'm hammering on my anvil. Uh, let's see. Put you guys down here. So I have this piece of leather, and after a while, it gets beaten down pretty good. Um, it'll start to look like this piece of board. It's starting to get holes coming through. But what I do is this is a brown particle board kind of stuff. Um, I think the whole board was like six bucks in the paneling section at Home Depot, um, but this goes on here, and what it allows me to do is not get this, um, let's see if I can get it without the glare here, all the divots and everything that's on your anvil from hammering, I can put this on there, and this is hard, so it's not actually taking very much it, there's not really a whole lot of give where sometimes the leather you want to really be able to just soft um, tap something into place um, so this is what I use to flatten out my spoons eventually it starts to look like this and it gets a little divot in it a little pit dug out in it and I need to replace it so here's what I did today I made this piece to to match my anvil. I made it to match my anvil square here. And what I'm going to do today, this piece isn't too bad, but since I'm making stuff and I have the leather, I'm just going to cut it out real quick. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys. Um, make sure that this is zoomed all the way out. Okay, so this piece of leather here is about five centimeters thick or almost a quarter inch thick. Um, I got this from um, a place that does um, leather work. Um, it's a, I got this from a place in Burlington, Vermont, um, but any leather smith or leather uh, place they generally will have scraps, and this is the thickest one that I could find, which is this is probably a, a, a cowhide, uh, rawhide kind of thing. It's super tough. They last a really long time. So what I did was I took my my template basically that I made, and I've traced it out with my sharpie, and I'll go ahead and trace out another one. And it doesn't have to be perfect because eventually we're going to be just down to pieces. Um, and let's see if I can get one more decent sized piece out of this. And then this guy here. So I also make the pieces that go in the vise. Um, I'll make them, actually this here will become that too. Um, I'll make them into the pieces that hold the silverware. So I'll get one, two, three of those, and three of my blocks here. And then I'll just take my Sharpie and start cutting these out. Not Sharpie, <laughs> my razor knife. And 
generally it would take at least one or two cuts to get through all the layers. Must have nicked something on my on my bench. Get out of here. I always keep a steel in my shop just for such an occasion. Nice and sharp again. Flipping it over. I'll finish sharpening it later. Come on. There we go. Is that? Device, and I just want to get that initial crown done on it. That's going to keep it rough shape. And what I'll do a lot of times is I'll take another permanent marker or Sharpie, whichever side is up, I'll make that black. That way I know that the top is even, because sometimes the bottom are, aren't, aren't always even. <clears throat> I'll do the same to this one. one folded up <laughs> and these should last me at least another year even with heavy daily use this thick leather lasts quite a long time And then we have our three pieces that we can use for our top. I'm going to save these, put these nice ones off to the side. Save that one and this one there. I'll just put these away. So I got my board, I got my new leather, and I got my new piece for that. All these little scraps. I try and save. You never know what's going to be shimmed or something or um, whatever you're going to need. I mean, there's always something that comes up where you're going to need something. <clears throat> and after a while, this is the same leather. You see the thickness difference? It gets really thin after squishing it and compressing it a lot. 
All right, so I hope everyone has a good day. Uh, remember to like and subscribe here or here, somewhere, I forget where they go, and check out our other video. All right, have a good day, guys.